Hey guys, it's Tim here, and today I'll be reviewing Cluzo, which is a no-code chatbot builder powered by ChatGPT, uh, and you can add those chatbots to your website where they can answer your website visitors' questions. Now, you can train this bot uh, with your own data, so you can add website URLs, you can upload PDF files, text files, CSV files, and soon more, so that the bot will answer uh, exactly uh, the right answers to your customers based on the information that you provide to this bot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full review. Currently, Cluzo is available as a lifetime deal here on AppSumo. We're going to discuss the price a little later. And if you'd like to get it, uh, my link is in the description below. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you what Cluzo is. So right now I'm logged in and as you can see here, it says workspaces. So basically workspaces are folders and depending on which plan you have here, the first tire only gives you one workspace. Now, basically that means when you visit the workspace, all your bots will be added to this specific workspace. So if you have multiple clients and you want to have multiple folders, uh, then you need to have a higher tire. Now, as you can see here, there are two bots here. And the first bot here is the Google bot. And the second bot is just the spirit dog. This is a, a, a bot about dog training, about dogs, etc. One has been feeded by Google and the other has been feeded by the URLs and the documents that I have provided. So let's take a look at how you can set up a bot yourself. So when I click on edit here, you see that you need to add your own open AI key here. And I think this is a good thing. This way they do not have those high costs for a lifetime deal. We can provide our own open AI key, which is not too expensive. And then we can set the temperature here. So that is the creativity of your bot based on the information that you provide. And then in the GPT model here, you can choose which model you would like to use. So GPT-4 is also supported. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do the GPT-3.5. Then in the next uh, tab here, we need to add our Pinecone details. Now, Pinecone, you can create a free account. There's documentation here. It says how to create a free Pinecone account. And it shows you how you can create a free account. And basically what Pinecone is, is a storage location where all of your bot information will be stored. This is super simple to set up. The video explains you how to do this. And you fill out your details here, as you can see. Uh, and once you've done that, your bot, your bot is ready to go. Then in the next step here in the appearance, you can change the bot. So here you can see this is blue and gray. Well, you can change those colors. So let's say you want to have this a red a button, then you can make that red not so nice. So I'm going to switch that back to blue again, but you can modify your bot in here. The same thing here is for your bot avatar and your widget icon. So here you can see the bot icon you can change it to your own icon so let's say i want to upload my own photo so let's say i'm going to do tim verdow here i'm going to search for one of my pictures here and i can say okay i want to use this picture and now this picture here will be in the chat bot the same thing is for the chat widget icon as you can see here this icon can be replaced as well that's the icon that you will see on your website then the next thing on the next screen here, the prompt part, is where you can provide the chat uh, with a prompt, how it should act. So as you can see here, I basically took the default prompt. I want you to act as a support assistant that I'm having a conversation with. Your name is Tim's bot, and you will provide me answers for uh, from the given info. So the given info that we provide. If the answer is not included, say exactly Ah, I'm not sure. So I fill that out in here. I'm not sure of this and stop after that and refuse to answer any question, uh, not about the info, never break character. So you can add that in here. You can say a welcome message. So hi there, how can I help you? So that's basically this message that you will see here. Uh, let me go to the other page here. Hi there, how can I help you? You can set that message yourself in here and then you click on save. And then the next part, the data sources, this is the interesting part where you can upload your files. So in this case, I have contact details, I have dog training TXT files that I provide with information that the bot should be using to answer questions. Another thing that you can do here is, oh, I think I forgot here. So you can drop PDF, CSV and TXT files. 
Another thing that you can do is you can train the bot by adding website URLs. Now, what I've done for this bot, I took this website here, Spirit Dog, and I took the URLs of these blog articles. I thought, let's create a, a uh, bot on dog training. So what I did, I simply took these URLs, I copied this URL, and then you can paste that inside of your account here, and then the bot will be trained based on that information. So as you can see, I've added multiple URLs to the bot here so that it learns from this website. So I've added all these articles and we're going to test the bot within a few seconds to reply to these questions as well. So other sources will be soon, Confluence coming soon, Airtable and Notion coming soon as data sources as well. Then you have starter questions here, uh, where you uh, will be able to add these starter questions like, hi there, how can you, uh, can you help me? Hello. Now, right now, this uh, needs some improvement because I did, hi there, can you help me? And it made two of these and I'm not able to delete these parts. So I'm going to contact support about this, but you should be able to add three starter questions like you're seeing right here. When I open this bot here, you can see, hi can you help me? This is a starter question, for example. So you can add that in here. Now, once you're done here, uh, and by the way, the first plan here, as you can see, the tire one allows you to create three starter questions per chatbot. Now here, once you're done here, it's going to give you a script code that you can add to your website, to your header. And once you've done that, the bot will be on your website, as you can see here. So this bot this is just a demo website that I created here. When I click on this icon here, I can start typing with my chatbot. So let's say we go back to this website because we use the data of this website. And let's say we go here, um, when should a you cut a when should you cut a poodle puppy's hair? Let's copy this question here and let's go to the bot and ask this question here and see what he answers. So I've added the question in here and then it says, you should start trimming your poodle coat when they're five, six months old, but it's best to start doing at two, three months to get them used to it. So five, six months, better two to three months. When we go back to the website here, you can see, you will need to start trimming your poodle's coat when they're five, six months old, but it's best to start doing it at two, three months to get them used to it. So what we've done basically is we've added the data sources here when cut poodle puppy hair to Cluzo so that it knows exactly what to answer. So the more information you feed to Cluzo, the better it can answer your questions. So let's go to another post here. So let's go back to the previous page and let's take another article here. So what age do Labradoodles calm down? Let's open this post and let's copy this question. Let me also copy some questions throughout the post itself. So let's go here. Let's type that question in here. Let's press enter and let's see what the bot comes up with. And it says Labradoodles typically, uh, typically become calmer around three years old. So we go back here and then you go uh, through the article in here and let's see if we can find it in here. So here it says most Labradoodles, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end it says they take a little longer to mature mentally and may not be emotionally mature until three years old. So as you can see, it answers exactly uh, to the content that we have provided. So let's say how much exercise does a Labradoodle need? Let's go back to the bot here. Let's ask that question. And let's, let's ask it a little bit different. Um, let's say how much, uh, how much exercise, how much should I, should I exercise? Should I exercise with my doodle? So I'm gonna ask it a little bit different than it's on the website. So you can see that it also answers questions that are not exactly as it is on the website. So as you can see here, a healthy adult Labradoodle needs around an hour of exercise every day uh, and then preferably split. So here you can also see uh, it needs around an hour of exercise per day, preferably split into two walks. 
So as you can see, this bot is pretty good in answering questions. So this is the first way to build a bot. The second way, so let's go back to our bots, is you can provide the bots also by Google information. So when you click on new chatbot here, uh, let's say test and choose an option. Here you can choose, do you want to train this chatbot with a knowledge base or do you want to have a chatbot that searches Google? So when you do this, and I already created this bot, is you will get this bot, a Google bot, and the rest works exactly the same, but you do not need to feed this bot. Now, when I go to another website with another bot that I've set up here with a Google bot, this is the one with the Google bot. It says, hi there, how can we help you? So let's get a random question and say, um, what is the best dog food? Question mark. And now it says, as an AI, I don't have a personal opinion. However, there are many high quality dog food brands available that cater to different blah, 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 blah. So now it's going to give answers based on Google. And if I want to ask questions about the cat, uh, can I train a cat? Question mark. Let's see what it comes up with. Yes, cats can be trained. Well, they may not be obe as obedient as dogs. Cats, blah, blah, blah. You see all this information. So this bot uh, yeah, reacts completely different because it gets the information from Google. Now, as you can see, uh, you can create those different bots. Let me restart my mouse here. You can create those different bots just on whatever you prefer. Now. AppSumo here comes with uh, multiple tire licenses. So as you can see here, this is license one. And that means that you can create here, you can create 10 bots. I already created two bots and the front end to say so. This one comes with 10 chat bots. And it also comes here with the Powered by Cluzo. So if you wanna see how that looks like, when you go to uh, one of these websites, you can see here at the bottom, it says Powered by Cluzo. Uh, dot com. So if you want to remove that, uh, you will need at least to have the second tire here because that will remove that Cluzo part. Uh, it will also give you 10 starter questions per chatbot, also three workspaces and 30 chatbots. If you like to get more, uh, you can get all the other features, 60 chatbots, unlimited starter questions per chatbot and 20 workspaces and remove that. And if you go up here, you can also go to license four and they've added this option, uh, which means that you will be able to get everything unlimited. And yeah, that's basically what Cluzo is all about. In the app, of course, there are some other things like account settings, documentations, there is Zapier integrations, etc. cetera. Uh, but this is basically the main part of Cluzo, which is the most important. Now, again, if you're interested, there is a link in the description below. Uh, I appreciate it if you get it through that link, it will support my channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a lot of product reviews. Uh, so hit that notification bell if you got subscribed and please like this video if it was useful i appreciate that thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video hey talk soon cheers